Here's just an example of some uh, very focused grazing that you can do with goats when you have temporary electric fence. These girls have been dry lotted for probably about 10 days, living mostly on hay and grain. They're very happy to see this. Um, this is the edge of a hay field. We don't actually cut this part. So we're gonna let them clean it up. As you can see over here along that fence line, it needs some work and there's actually a, a hot line of wire down along that. That it's just gonna be a lot easier to have them do it than me clean it up. So, like I said, just another example of how the goats can, you really focus them in. I imagine in two to three days, they'll have this done and then we'll be back on our nap, natural, uh, our normal pasture rotation. So, all right, we're about at the end of day two. Yesterday, the goats had about three and a half hours on this segment that was all overgrown. You can see they've eaten and knocked down quite a bit here. Um, my guess was that it was gonna take them about three days and I would say tomorrow's supposed to rain all day so it may take an extra one, but I would say by the end of a third day of grazing, they'll have this fence line right here cleaned up even with this electric running right here um, they'll have this all cleaned up so pretty cool um, just to give you an idea there are about 50 adult does in this group and I don't know maybe uh, let's see I, I want to say about seven yearlings and the balance are kids so for a total group of about a hundred goats taking this down in a short period of time um, they got out here this morning at about nine o'clock 8 30 9 o'clock like I said they had three and a half hours yesterday and it's sitting at about almost eight o'clock at night now so this should give you a good idea what they can do and just how powerful this temporary netting can be um, we'll probably use it on this fence line over here that goes all the way down of the woods if you can see that if it's not blurring out too bad um, we'll probably have them trim all that back because it's just a lot easier than me doing it with a weed eater and uh, catching rocks and stuff in the face so this is just a little demonstration of what the goats can do and I'll try to come back to you one day further into this it probably won't be tomorrow just because I'll have to uh, let the girls have a little break inside eating some hay during this rain but we'll be back so I think it's a little less than three days actual time on this little area and if you go back to the beginning of the video you can see what the goats did to it. You know we could have pushed it and left them in here another day and they would have cleaned up the odds and ends but compared to what it was it looks great. The fence is going to be really easy to get in with a weed eater. Uh, they even took some of that nasty thistle stuff out so all in all great job by the girls and the boys. and. Uh, We'll definitely be doing this on some of the other fence lines in the future. As it is, uh, the goats ended 16 days of dry lotting today. So they're very pleased to be actually way down in that pasture right down there if you can see them. And uh, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be loving the grass now. They've had enough of this uh, nonsense. So just uh, hope this video gives you a good demonstration of what they can do. God bless you.